Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBan and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to deal with assets in Laravel. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so what I meant by assets is that the uh, custom CSS or JavaScript or images or something similar, th those are under the category of assets. So what we are going to be doing is my server is running, my exam is running, you know, if we uh, look into the application itself, what we have to achieve is just give a, a background color to this entire page. So that's the whole thing we have to do. But will not be doing uh, in this way like it will not be going to the layout.blade.php and add an inline styling or uh, you know the uh, style tag without using the style tag and all what we what we will do is we'll uh, create an external style.css file and we'll link in the blade.php so that's what we are going to be doing so uh, in order to create that css file uh, you have to create it in the, it in the public directory in here I'm, I'm gonna create a new directory and I'll name this as assets now this is up to you that's up to you you can uh, name of course anything now I'll create a new file and the name of the file uh, let me say it as style.css now the style.css I'll just say body and I'll just set the background color to uh, something like a beach that's it now I want to link this uh, style.css in my blade, layout.blade.php so that is, it is accessible to the home and the uh, update uh, and all those routes that extends layout. Now in here, uh, in the template itself I have this uh, uh, normal uh, linking stuff there. Now what I'm going to do here is in the href field just add a double curly braces then say asset now asset is a helper function now you just specify the path of the asset now it is in the assets folder so I'll just say assets folder slash uh, excuse me uh, I forgot to uh, create a directory here uh, named CSS because if there was a JavaScript then uh, it will be blotted in just a single uh, assets folder so I'll just create a CSS folder and put, put that as style.css into CSS folder so in here I can just say like assets slash CSS and in the CSS directory style.css so that's it that's how we link that path uh, to the assets to the style in specific so if we go back in here and refresh my page then you can see that beige color is appeared so that's how we link uh, the uh, assets in JavaScript in Laravel so uh, you can of course uh, change this name to something like uh, let me say it as uh, static for instance and you know it autom automatically refactored this uh, assets to static itself now if I save again and refresh it just works fine no issues with that so uh, th that's how uh, the thing uh, works in uh, Laravel the assets the static files now I'll just refactor back to assets um so uh that's all about the video you know if you have any doubts if you fell into some errors please let me know in the comment section otherwise uh if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it so thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one